Hey everybody, so there's a conversation that happens every year around this time. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Now everybody's got a favorite movie that isn't technically a holiday movie, but they think qualifies as a holiday movie. And they may be right and they may be wrong. We're gonna look at some of our favorite holiday movies that probably aren't actually holiday movies today. But also, we're gonna talk about the formula of what it is that actually makes a holiday movie a holiday movie. All right, so let's get right into this. T, truly, welcome to our holiday movie special. Tis the season. Yeah. So, holiday movies that aren't actually holiday movies. I think probably the best example of this, Die Hard. It adheres so heavily to like a lot of the Christmas tropes. Like you've got a Christmas party, you've got uh, a reference to Ho Ho Ho. Mm -hmm. um, like I think there's a lot there that for people to overlook that is is strange to yeah. me. So yeah, Hans Gruber is a bit of a Krampus, I guess. <laughs> It's Christmas, Theo. It's the time of miracles, so be of good cheer. Some of the other, like Shane Black, very famously, sets all of his movies at Christmas. Yeah. Iron Man 3 is a Christmas movie. To the point that it almost seems lazy. <laughs> yeah. It kind of seems pathological is what it seems. Just yeah. like, dude, what is it with you and the Christmas? <laughs> but you go back into to what we were saying about Die Hard. Like, it's about a family coming together, sort of. So Christmas makes sense for that. Lethal Weapon, I feel like that story can sort of justify being during Christmas. Sure. It's so um, a little suicide for the holidays. Yeah. Well, It's a Wonderful Life, suicide during True. the holidays. It's True. the most famous yeah. Christmas movie of all time. Yeah. So does, is there something about a holiday movie that's not technically uh, a holiday movie that at least thematically there needs to be something that makes it relevant for, for Christmas or for Thanksgiving or whatever? Yeah, it's weird because Die Hard, I'm like, this is very much a Christmas movie, but Lethal Weapon, is just barely there. Cause like in Lethal Weapon they have that slapstick Three Stooges fight in the Christmas tree lot. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but they don't make a big deal out of it. For some reason it doesn't resonate in a Christmas way for me. Tell me, what day is it? What day? God damn Christmas! I mean, for me, one of the movies that I love to watch every Christmas is not a Christmas movie, but it has snow in it. Well, let's get into it. What, what's and your pick? And that for... movie is coming to America. I think it might just have to do with whatever your sort of personal traditions are with your family and loved ones. And it is about, you know, like love and coming together as a family at the end. So maybe there is something to that whole theme of togetherness. There is kind of a fairy tale quality to that movie also. Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, basically a, a regular city girl gets to become a princess. You know, it's got that aspect going. And uh, it takes place in Queens, which is where I'm from, so I like that. <laughs> <laughs> God damn that boy Cassandra. Truly, what about you? Like, when I think Christmas movies, like, there is something definitely to be said for snow, kind of like you were talking about. Uh, and so I always sort of think of uh, Batman Returns, which also has this fairy tale quality to it in a, in a very real way. Um, but it, it's got that like sort of cold and wintry thing. So like you're all you're all bundled up and you're watching uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and Michael Keaton heat up the screen. Sure. Oh yeah. There were penguins and uh, I mean it's <laughs> hang it's on a second. Set at are Christmas are as penguins well. a Christmas thing? Yeah, because it, it's winter. <laughs> okay. Like if, if Coca's gonna make polar I, bears the Christmas thing, then why can't penguins just be like, yeah, we like the holiday too? Yeah. <laughs> Penguins He's are like, got a Wait point. A Why not us? Yeah. I think that's the main message of it. Like, don't forget about penguins. <laughs> My name is not Oswald. It's Penguin. I am not a human being. I am an animal. But yeah, there is Tim Burton does because one of the other ones that sprang to my mind was Edward Scissorhands, because mm. Tim Burton does have that that sort of gothic fairy tale feel in literally everything he does. And yeah. The Danny Elfman music as well. There's yeah. something sort of very like sweeping and like fantasy about that and just sort of like warming of the icy cage around my heart. Right. When I think of that movie, I think like almost Technicolor. But yeah, I mean, if you really think about the palette of that film, it's completely not Christmassy. It's like really. key lime pie yeah. on screen. But there's there's that element of whimsy to it and just enough, and frankly, just enough fake snow on screen to make you be like, yeah, winter, all right. Yeah. It's like that blue palette with like the white of the snow. It's like, yeah. that's, cold. that's a cold movie. It's that's cold, cold. outside. <laughs> Even though they're all drinking lemonade and shorts. <laughs> but I, I do think, I do like what we're drilling down on here. There's there like an element of whimsy in a movie that's not strictly a Christmas movie that makes it feel like a Christmas movie. Uh, the pick that I made was another Eddie Murphy movie is hey. Trading Places. All right. Which 
actually takes place at Christmas. There's that great image of Dan, homeless Dan Aykroyd in the Santa costume. That's just, that's the first thing that pops to my head when I think about this movie. It's also got that fairy tale quality in that there's these two rich guys, the Duke brothers, who like want to settle a bet about nature versus nurture. And so they put these two guys through this weird experiment. Orange futures are very important. And apparently economically, it's, it's pretty sound. <laughs> um, but it's basically, it's another one of these kind of like rags to riches, wish fulfillment, fairy tale kind of, uh, kind of stories that happens to take place over Christmas. Just because it takes place at Christmas, is it a, do you think it's a, that's a layup of a Christmas movie? I don't know. I, I sort of wonder if like the unifying theme of that is just the fact that you kind of have this unification at the end. Because it's like Dan Aykroyd and, and Eddie Murphy come from these different worlds, but at the end they've been brought together. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so that's weirdly like a human family being brought together as opposed to like some of the other ones where it's like an actual family. It's sort of like a global togetherness. Sure, Mm -hmm. sure, which you get in Coming to America. Sure. Mm -hmm. And in Batman Returns? Yeah. Bats and cats. Oh, don't get it wrong, Catwoman and Batman come together. (laughs) Nice. You want to see a bat (laughs) a cat, you got to watch Batman Returns. And then use your imagination during the credits. And then also fill in the blanks. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> You're gonna have to write and produce your own slash fiction, but you can do it. So we've got whimsy, we've got it feels cold, yeah, and we've got coming together at the end. Often a coming together of opposing sides, that sort of like odd couple coming together because even in coming to America, you know, he's from Zamunda and she's from Queens. And I think that is the overarching thing that has to happen at the end of any movie whether it's like deliberately a Christmas movie or not. So maybe that's why Lethal Weapon is just sort of tenuously a Christmas movie because it's got that odd couple coming together at the end and like appreciating each other whereas they didn't to begin with. Yeah. Honestly they're kind of brought together before that point so they're already working together but they don't have the real understanding until the end. I don't know. So if you guys agree with each other at the end of this episode does that mean that this is a Christmas movie? Yes. All right, cool. It, it might be. Well, that'll do it for us. Let us know what your favorite holiday movie that's not an actual holiday movie. Uh, and what do you think actually makes a good holiday movie? What is it? Is it just the holidays or is it the snow and the togetherness and the whimsy? Let us know all that in the comments down below. Click like and subscribe. We'll see you next time here on Cinefix. Four Christmas is four times the holiday movie. Does that make it four times the holiday movie? That, yes. Because that there are four Christmas. Arthur Christmas is? Yes. It's the math, Clint. <laughs> Always forget about the math.